So we have the biggest Primark haul I have ever, ever done. I've even got the fabric bag. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you are new here, my name is Sophie. Today I am doing a huge Primark haul. I went to Primark yesterday and to be honest, I had a good time but I also didn't find as much as I thought I would. So I was really looking forward to going around the ladies section and I'd seen so many people upload so many nice things but I just felt like the one I went to I saw a lot of the same stuff. I actually had more fun in the kids section but if you are watching this and you don't have children don't worry I'm going to do the ladies stuff first and the children's stuff's going to come last so you don't have to watch that bit. So I got a mixture of home, ladies and children's wear. The new Stacey Solomon range in Primark Kids is so nice, like really nice unisex clothing. So my little boy is nearly 15 months old, so there's not that much for the older kids. It's more for like babies, but there was still a few bits in his size. So if you are new, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and we will just jump straight into the video. So I'm gonna do a try on haul as well. I'm gonna upload photos or video footage of me trying all this stuff on, but I'm just really excited to get into it. I forgot what I've even bought, but like I say, we'll start with the lady stuff first, then I'm gonna do home and then I'll do the kids stuff last. So firstly, I bought this gorgeous jumper, oversized, really big jumper. I got a size medium because it was the smallest size that they had, but I only really have like one really oversized jumper and it's white. So every time I wear it, it literally is washing straight away. So I got this gorgeous, like, is it the cobalt blue is how you say it? Um, it's a really popular colour at the minute. It's very similar to the green that's going round. So it just says, if you love hard, don't apologise for your superpower. And then it says exactly the same on the back. So I'll upload a picture of me in it, but it's just a really nice oversized piece. I just thought it would look lovely with just leggings, jeans. It's just one of them things that when you can't really be bothered to get dressed properly, you can just shove an oversized jumper on and like you still look quite nice i don't actually know how much it was but right it was so what will this be called so i think it was 12 pounds which for an oversized jumper i really don't think that's bad it's really soft inside and yeah i'm really glad i got it there was matching joggers to all of these styles of jumpers there was like a red one a white one like a stony browny maroon color and then there was this and there was matching joggers to all the other colors apart from this so i'm i'm guessing that they do matching joggers but yeah it's just a really nice oversized jumper so next jumper i got this really nice just black knitted like again an oversized jumper so it's just like a gorgeous really soft actually i think sometimes knitted stuff can have that awful feel where it's quite itchy but this is really soft and it was 10 pounds and i got it in a medium so again i wanted it to be quite oversized so i just thought it's just a good colored jumper to shove on with like a pair of black leggings a pair of nude leggings you can layer it up with a sh can layer it up with a sh can layer it up with a sh ow <laughs> You can layer it up with a shacket, like, I don't know, I just thought it was a really nice jumper. So, it's just a really nice oversized knitted jumper and, oh, there's a little pull on it there, great. But yeah, really nice black oversized knitted jumper, can't go wrong. I wanted to buy some things that would last in my wardrobe for a good few years. And I just think this is one thing that's never really going to go out of fashion. Like, it's always going to be... Like a knitted jumper is always going to be in fashion. You can shove it on with jeans, you can shove, shove it on with leggings. Like it's not anything I think that will go out of fashion. So I feel like it'll be something I can keep in my winter wardrobe for quite a long time. Next up, I literally just got a plain black tee. So it's just one of the Stretch Crew plain black t-shirts. Again, can't really go wrong with something like this. It was £2.50. 
and I got it in an extra small because I do like them to be really fitted. So again, it's something that I would wear with literally like just a pair of jeans and I could just shove a shirt over the top or a shacket. So I would always have it tucked in because that's why I wanted it quite nice and tight and then I would have like my high-waisted jeans on. I will obviously add a picture just so you can see what I mean. But I just think like a plain black t-shirt or a plain white t-shirt or a plain grey t-shirt is just like one of them layering objects that you just can't go wrong with. Next up, if you know me, you know that I am still loving like colour. Even though we're getting into winter now, I just think colour is still like, I don't know, it just brightens up your day. I think it brightens up your wardrobe, like it gives you a bit more personality. So I saw this green shirt, which I've seen on quite a lot of hauls. I've got um, one just like this from Zara in blue. So I just, and actually this looks like it would be better to iron than the Zara one. The Zara one is really, really hard to iron, but this is more of like a cotton. Whereas the Zara one's like more like tissue paper. I can't really describe what the material's like, but this is actually a nice material and it was only 13 pounds. So I got this in a size A as it's already quite oversized. But again, I just thought it would look nice with like black leggings or a pair of jeans, a shacket, some trainers, some boots. I'm not really sure like what I would wear over the top of it because that's the only thing I struggle with colour. Like, especially if the colours in the t-shirt or the shirt or the leggings, I never really know, like, what to wear with it. So, I don't know what I would wear with this. Maybe, actually, some green leggings. I might have to try and find some green leggings. And I could wear this with the green leggings and just some, like, black trainers and maybe, like, a black gile or a black coat or a black jacket. But, yeah, I just saw it and I just thought, yeah, do you know what? I want a bit more colour in my autumn winter wardrobe. And I need more things like just going out, like if I was going out for tea on Friday night last minute and didn't really think about what I needed to wear, I just thought I could quickly grab this shirt, shove it on a pair of jeans, a nice pair of trainers or a nice pair of boots. I actually think it's really nice quality as well and for £13, I don't think you can go wrong at all and it's a really nice green colour. So next up, which is one thing I'm really, really excited about, I wanted a matching tracksuit. So I've seen on a few Primark hauls, people with these really nice matching tracksuits and this was the only one that I could find and it was quite expensive for Primark, I'm not going to lie. Um, I don't even know where the tag is for this one, but it's a really nice cream colour and it's like fitted but oversized so it's got some like nice pockets at the front and then this is actually an extra small the jumper is an extra small because i thought it's not that like oversized look where you need it to be like really big i just think so i decided to get the smaller jumper because i wanted a tracksuit that was quite fitted and then i got the matching joggers so it's in the reusable material so made using a minimum of 14 percent recycled plastic so i got the joggers in at the small because they were the smallest ones that were available so they've got like the nice tight cuff around the bottom they've got a drawstring waist which even though they're small they probably will be a little bit big for me because a small in primark is a 10 to 12 because they've got the drawstring waist i feel like they will be fine um, they might be a little bit long because I'm quite short, but the joggers were £14, which is obviously not overly expensive, but for Primark, I do think it's more of an expensive range. I'm guessing the jumper won't have been much more than the joggers, so if the joggers were 14 I'm guessing the jumper will have maybe been about £14 or £16, so maybe it was about £13 altogether for this tracksuit. But the only thing, obviously, is the colour. Like, it is a cream, nudie colour. It is a gorgeous colour. But when you have a child, it is a little bit risky. Like, they've always got sticky hands. They've always got something on the hands that shouldn't be there. Something like tomato pasta sauce or mush banana or a biscuit. But... I just thought it was something nice to wear around the house or if I was like to go to the cinema or if he's at nursery and I'm working from home I thought it would just be a nice like jogging set to shove on and I do think it's more expensive because it's obviously from the recycled range which obviously I'm absolutely fine with I am wanting to have more recycled clothes in the house and just more like environmentally friendly like eco-friendly clothing so i do think and it does feel like really nice quality as well so yeah i'm really happy with that 
I then got some pyjamas because you cannot go to Primark and not get yourself some more pyjamas. So I did want some like really nice um, like long sleeved pyjama top and shorts or just like long pyjamas, long sleeve top pyjamas. But to be honest, the one that I went to, I was actually really disappointed in the pyjama section. I just felt like they were very, very um, Barbie or I'm just trying to think of a brand that there was there like... You know when they do not branded but they have like a specific like the simpsons or teletubbies that sort of like it's based on a theme themed that's the word i'm looking for it was a lot of themed stuff but not cute themed stuff like i've got some cookie monster pajamas from primark that i've had since i was pregnant two years ago and i still wear them now i absolutely love them i still think they're quite cute but a lot of the themed pajamas in primark at the minute i just really don't think are cute at all like i think you can get away with some themed pajamas being like cute and sexy but they're just not there were some like chicago bulls ones like the all the american baseball basketball brands but i don't know i just thought no i'm not really into that so i literally just grabbed some pajama shorts these leopard print pajama shorts you can't really tell but they're really really soft they're like a really nice felt material so i thought they would be nice for the winter so i get really really hot in bed and also i just get hot on a night because i like to sit on the sofa with a blanket so i am actually better with pajama shorts um than i am with like long pajamas so i got these in a small because again it was a smallest size that they do but they are drawstring so i just thought they'd be fine I'd be fine wearing those with the jawstring around. And then I just got this kind of matching vest. It's just a grey vest. Again, this is really nice and soft. So this was £4. And then the shorts were... I don't actually know how much the shorts were. Because there's not a tag on these either. Maybe £4. They were £4 as well. So even though the top's not fully matching, there is grey in the shorts. And then obviously the top is grey. So I just thought that they'd look really cute together. Just a nice like pair of little chiller pyjamas. Still quite sexy, but just quite comfy and subtle. So I kind of made my own pair of pyjamas there. So last few items I got for myself, I just got some of the sport socks. So I always, always get these. They are just the workout sport socks, but I feel like you can wear them with trainers and they never, ever, ever come above that trainer line. So I either like to wear socks that you cannot see at all, or I like to have like really high knee, like ruched socks on with my trainers. If I was to have like a pair of just normal trainer socks on and you could just see them coming up above my trainers, I really don't like that look. Like I just, there's just something about it. It gives me the ick. Like if I saw a guy, I'm married, so it doesn't really matter. But if I saw a guy with socks on coming up above the trainers, wow, it would give me the major ick. So this, they were £3 for one, five pairs. That's actually quite good. I usually try to go for all black, but they didn't have any. So I just kind of went for the plainest colours that I could find. They kind of like a metallic-y texture to them. So they're just like khaki, sage, grey, black and like a little brown colour. So £3 for five pairs of socks. And then I actually bought myself some thick tights. So thick grey tights, because I thought some outfits, like a nice dress, looks nice with boots. But then when you've got your legs out in the middle of winter, it actually just looks a bit too much. So I bought some tights. I might never wear them, but I thought they're there just in case. You know, they'd look nice with like a really nice oversized like grey dress or black dress and boots. So yeah, I just thought I'd buy myself some tights. Like I say, I don't know if I'd ever wear them, but I thought they are there just in case. I've seen a few people on Instagram throwing up pictures with tights on and I thought actually that looks quite cute. So £3.50 for some denier appearance tights. So you can see they're just like a really like, I don't know, some really nice grey. It's like a charcoal grey. Yeah. So next I will show you the homeware because if you don't have a child, then you don't have to like go through the children's wear that I'm gonna show you before I go through the homeware. So firstly, I'm absolutely loving Primark home at the minute, by the way. I would have bought more, but it's actually really hard putting everything in a one basket. <laughs> Because them baskets actually don't hold that much. When you could go all out in Primark, them baskets 
don't hold that much and then you've also got to think the trip to the car like i had to walk back to the car so firstly i got these indoor rose lights so they are to go around this mirror here so this is my office slash filming room it's just not finished yet like i've always started I've always come in here and got things to like get going with it and then I just give up. So I thought, no, do you know what? I'm going to start buying some stuff to put in there. I really want it to be like really like warm, neutral, like homely. What's the word I'm looking for? Just like a really nice vibe, like wood vibes. Like, I don't know, just really candles, just a really nice calming zone. So I got these LED flower rose lights and they were three pounds. So I just thought they would look really cute hanging around my mirror. And yeah, like I think if I just hang them around the top and around the sides. So they were three pounds and there's 20 rose lights in there. And then I got this really cute wooden plant pot. So this is also for this room. And there was loads of fake plants in Primark. Nice fake plants, but I thought, no, up here I actually want real plants. Like, I just want it to be like a really natural, calming vibe. So I saw this really gorgeous wooden planter and I'm going to go to the supermarket either tomorrow or Thursday and I'm going to buy a really nice plant to put in and I'm going to pop it on one of my shelves. And I just want a really nice, like, plants, candles like reed diffusers just like a really nice setup and i can have it as like a background as well for some of my filming and then if i ever come up here to work or read like i've just got like a really nice vibe so yeah this was six pounds and i actually think it's really nice it's a gorgeous like wood and i wish i've actually bought more because i'd have put one on my desk and one on my dresser but yeah I'm really happy with that and I just think a really nice green plant will look really nice in there. So next for this room, I got this gorgeous candle that says relax on it. So this is from the Primark Home Wellness Range. So I don't know if your local Primarks have the wellness range, but it's in like that. It's like a really beige setup and there's loads of like wooden shelves. There's a few clothes in there. There's a lot of homeware. So it's from that section. And it smells absolutely gorgeous. I love cedar wood. So I got the candle and the candle was £5. Like £5 for that candle. I just think that is such a nice candle for £5. And it smells gorgeous. And it's three wicks as well. I wish you could smell this through the camera. But unfortunately, I am not that clever. I then got the matching reed diffuser. So I'm going to put this up here as well. Oh my god that was not clever all the reeds have come out so it's just in a really nice tub it's really similar to the candle it's just like that really gorgeous tortoise shell like brownie cut sort of color so i'm going to leave the candle and the reed diffuser up here and just create like a really nice homely vibe with both of them and then lastly from the home section, I just got this cinnamon and clove scented candle. So this is just for downstairs in one of my lanterns in the front room. And it only has one wick, but I just really like these candles that you can see like all the frozen sort of fruit, dried fruit in there. So you've obviously got like your cranberries, your cloves, your oranges. And to be honest, you can't really smell it. I did say that to my friend, I was like, I can't even smell this but it just looks nice and i just thought it would look really cute in in one of my little lanterns downstairs so this was four pounds fifty which i don't know if that's expensive or not like i don't know if these candles are quite expensive to make but then to say this was four fifty and this in the really nice jar was six pounds um, five pounds this was only 50p cheaper i do actually think that it's probably quite expensive but maybe these candles are harder to make because they've got all like the dried fruit and stuff in. I'm not really sure. But yeah, last of the homeware. So lastly, I have the kids stuff, which is what I'm honestly most excited about. The new Stacey Solomon range is so nice. There was some absolutely gorgeous stuff, but there was not a lot left in my little boy's size. So I'm buying for him either 12 to 18 or 18 to 24 months and a lot of stuff 
like the smallest size that the biggest size that they had left was nine to twelve months so i've not got loads i could have honestly bought i could have spent a fortune and they also had just loads of nice like shackets in there like shirts some gorgeous knitted jumpers but i didn't really go in like needing to really get him anything and like looking back now i wish i'd have bought more for him but some of like the jumpers and the sweaters i was a bit like i don't know what he'd wear it with because i really don't like him in jeans and he doesn't have any jeans so i was a bit like if i was to get that gorgeous knitted jumper i don't know what i'd put you in it with but thinking back now i probably would put him in it put him in some like really nice ribbed leggings and that jumper but i just kind of wasn't in that zone because i already had all my stuff and all the home stuff in my basket my arm was hurting and i was just kind of like right i just was having a quick browse but looking back i feel like i wanted to go back again and get some more stuff for him because i feel like he's well he's got enough clothes right now he's got loads of like leggings oversized t-shirts jumpers but he doesn't actually have really anything to wear like if we were to go out for like a really nice meal he has actually got nothing to wear like well he does but he would just be in like leggings and like just a casual sweater um so i feel like i do want to go back and just maybe get like a shirt a jacket and like a nice knitted jumper or something so i might have to go and take another trip but anyway i bought these bibs so they were some silicone bibs two pack of silicone bibs really really nice um, so they just say a little pickle on any of you follow stacy solomon you will know that she calls her little boy rex little pickle so my mum actually wanted some of these bibs because i've got a few and she said that they're just really nice and flimsy and the ones that she always buys are really hard so when i touched them and saw they were really flimsy i thought right i'm gonna buy them because they're in a two pack i'll keep one and my mum can have the other and they were six pounds but i'm actually pretty sure that these stand up as 10 pounds because i remember thinking that's really expensive for some bibs um yeah that's really annoying so i paid four pound more for these and they were only 10 pounds so i'm actually going to be that person and i am going to go back to um i'm going to go back to primark oh no wait i'm so confused the front sticker says light brown six pounds and the back sticker says 10 pounds i'm guessing this is the wrong sticker so they were actually 10 pounds my bad so yeah um 10 pounds for two packs of bibs which for primark is actually probably quite expensive but then they are silicone bibs so they're not the cheapest things anyway but yeah they're just like a really nice blue and sagey color and i just thought they were really nice and they'll last anyway so that's fine and then clothes wise i got this gorgeous little fleece and it just says happy crew on there and it just looks really nice and soft i really like the little detailing around the edges like the different colored zips and different colored pockets so and it's just really soft inside the only thing is i got this in 18 24 months because they didn't have anything smaller but then the smaller ones were only three to six months so it is quite big and it probably will drown him a little bit but it's gonna be winter for at least the next six months so i'm sure he will fit into it soon and it was 12 pounds so i do think the new stacy solomon range is quite expensive compared to the rest of primark but it is just really nice stuff so yeah that was the first thing that i got and just to add like i did actually really want a fleece for him i saw a brown one in there in just the normal primark section and it was um again they didn't have his size so i just ended up getting that instead next outfit i'm not sure if it's a little bit feminine but i do think a lot of the stacy solomon range is really unisex but my friend said that she doesn't think it's feminine she thinks it's just a nice unisex outfit so it's this really gorgeous blue spotted jumper with some matching like mustard leggings so i don't know i don't know if he's a bit girly or not but especially because casper's got so much hair and it gets mistaken for a girl anyway but do you know what i don't really care like i just think it's a really nice outfit with like his little nikes on i just thought yeah i think he'll look quite cute in it actually and if not 
I just put the jumper with some blue leggings and the leggings with like a different top but I do like buying outfits that are unisex because then I can save them for the next baby whereas I feel like a lot of his boy stuff I end up giving away even though I might have another boy but I always do it but because it's quite unisex I thought I would end up keeping this and this was £10 again it's not expensive for an outfit but for Primark I think it probably is I feel like if this wasn't the Stacey Solomon range it would probably be about six to eight pounds but yeah it just feels like really nice quality and I really like the oversizedness of it as well so this was the last little item I got from the Stacey Solomon range so I wanted a zip up like sleep suit onesie for after swimming because now it's getting to winter like I find it really hard getting him dressed after swimming like putting a vest on then putting his clothes on so I just thought if I can sh shove on a zip up sleep suit the only thing is it's a little bit thin so I will have to put a vest underneath like I did I did want something a little bit thicker but they didn't have it so it's just this yellow starry square print um, zip up sleep suit and it just says dream big on there and then it's got like some little coloured cuffs some little foot things on the bottom so that they can walk fine so this literally is just for swimming I probably won't ever put him to sleep in it because once he's worn it after swimming I'll then need to wash it for like the next week so yeah there was one with like tractors on but I just thought again it's unisex so I'll probably just end up keeping it for the next baby but I just thought it was quite cute and like I say it was li it's literally just for after swimming and it was seven pounds so the only thing is it is quite thin so perfect for sleeping in but obviously not perfect really for what I want it for. But hopefully if he has a vest on underneath and then if it's still cold, I'll just shove like his Geely or something on over the top. And then I can easily just get him dressed after swimming, carry him out and just shove him in the car. So lastly, from the little boys section, baby section, I just got these gorgeous pyjamas. I absolutely love things with like rockets and spaceships on. I just think they're so cute for little boys and these are so soft. I don't know if you can see the material but it's just that gorgeous like velvet and I just couldn't really leave them there so he has got three baby grows in 12 to 18 months and he's got two pairs of pyjamas and at the rate I'm washing stuff which is not a lot it's just not enough so I bought these and I just thought they were so cute five pounds so gorgeous navy soft silky pyjamas and I just thought as he's getting older I just love him in little pyjamas I just think they look so so cute and he is quite like me he's a very warm child so I think he'll like that he gets his feet out and um, he likes getting fresh air to his feet he always tries pulling his socks off but obviously when he's got a baby growing he can't do that so yeah I'm really happy with these I actually wish I'd bought them in another size just because they are so, so cute. Primark Kids is actually coming through right now. I feel like it's very Zara vibes. Like, these aren't that Zara vibe. It, and I guess none of that is. In fact, the fleece. I feel like the fleece is really... That is really Zara vibes. I actually do think it is. I feel like maybe they sort of went off Zara clothing when they did this range. But yeah, some of the other stuff in there is absolutely gorgeous. Like I do, like I say, I do wish I'd have really sat and thought about it more. Well, stood and thought about it more and bought a few more things for him. But all that came to £144.50, which I don't think is bad. Like when I was in there and I had this massive basket full of stuff, I was like, oh my God, this is literally going to be like over £200. But £144 for all of that and all the homeware stuff that I got, like, I really don't think it's that bad at all. And I'm really happy with my Primark haul. Like, I just, the only thing is I just want to go back and do another one, but I'm not going <laughs> to. And I'm probably not going to for a while now. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I do hope you enjoyed my Primark haul. Let me know if there's anything you're going to be going to Primark and buying now. Um, let me know like what you prefer my hauls do you prefer fashion or do you prefer baby wear and please make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video